Hello, we are from Penpole School in Hale, Cornwall, and we had a great time taking over the gallery. We were given 50 images to study, and all of them were wonderful masterpieces. Our mission was to select around 20 of them to design an exciting exhibition. We came down to the gallery and saw the real paintings. We all fell in love with them. The gallery staff hung them up exactly where we asked them to. We would like to thank Penley House Gallery and Museum for this once in a lifetime opportunity. We hope you enjoy the exhibition. tend to move in shore, so we go back laden with fish. At this time of the year they're a good size. By November they fit on one or two pounds and make a very tasty and hearty meal. Got to be careful taking those hooks out, mind. They are mean predators with a mouthful of sharp needle teeth. Harold Harvey, the artist who painted this picture, was very fond of autumn and the depth of colour. He enjoyed Rural and marine scenes, as you can see in various paintings that he has done. Got to go now. Um, got to make the most of the light before it gets dark. As you can see, I'm busy cleaning all these glasses. You might think that I'm being made to do this work, but you'd be wrong. 
I'm at St Ives Art Club and I've volunteered my services. The lady who painted this picture, Marion Stokes, lets me help out now and again. I'm quite lucky really. I get to meet lots of interesting people. Ah, just a couple more and I'm done. I hope I've done a good job. In this light it's hard to see if I've even cleaned them properly. That's it boys, a little bit further, that's better. It's a lot calmer in here by the inner harbour in Penzance. Stan Hope Forbes, the artist who painted this picture, just loved how the light danced across the water. I think that's why so many people like looking at the sea. That's it boys, all warmed up. Oh yes ma'am, two pints of fresh milk from the parlour and two mackerel scales and butter from the dock. I'll be there right away. Oh, hello there. I'm sorry for being rude, but I really don't have time to pose for Alexander for too long. I am worked incredibly hard, you see. I am made for one of the richest families in town. It is hard work and I never seem to have a second of the day to myself. But the money is good and it helps my family to send my younger brother to school. I am very lucky really, I could be working down at the dock spending my days killing and gutting fish. You never get rid of that smell, you know, so it just won't do it. Speaking of fish, I must get on, man will know if I'm late. Good day. made a super job of that hat. It's all ready for Queen Victoria's Gold Jubilee celebration. I think that Queen Victoria will be very proud to wear such a beauty. Frank White Bordillion was the artist who painted this wonderful picture. He was best known for his dramatic historical reconstructions. Get boring. 
don't tell him all these peas, but I don't mind. At least I get to sit out here in the sunshine. It's better than cleaning the kitchen or other rooms in the house. Look at those flowers, aren't they beautiful? I like the way the artist Albert Taylor makes everything look so soft, but still manages to capture the beautiful warmth and brightness. Well, back to work now. And on my answers, I'm Betsy, Betsy Landon. I'm a Nolan fishwife, and what's more, I'm an artist model. Yes, I've had my picture painted by all of these here artists that have come to live amongst us. But my favourite of them all, you know, is Mr. Langley, Mr. Walter Langley. He's a very kind and he's a very considerate man. Don't let me get too tired. Stand still and stop laughing, Frank. How on earth do you expect us to do that? Oh, hi. I'm sure you have a good laugh about this too. Have you ever seen such a thing? Frank Ramley has asked us to paint our picture, but us girls can't stop laughing with this going on. 17 attempts and still counting, and he still hasn't got the thread through the eye. I'll stick to fishing if I were you, my love. <laughs> Right, my handsome, can't stay here posing for Mr. Wainwright too long. Got to go look out for the boats coming back in, you see. Bit dangerous out there at the moment with the winds and the swell that could turn over a boat given the chance. I've been watching the boats going out and back for years now, and I've seen a lot. But it could get very cold standing out here during the winter months, but it's well worth it, knowing that I'm doing something that's keeping the boys safe. I always get a bit of fish for my troubles too, and that's what it's all about. Look it out for each other. Come on then, my little beauties, come and get your fill. All right there, I've just been peeling the veggies for our tea tonight. We have a large family, nine in all, including the babbies. Angie there, my eldest, does a great job at feeding everybody though. We're having roast tonight, but these two here in front are lucky. They've been spared from the butcher's block. Best layers, see? Mum give us four or five eggs a day between them. Best layers I've ever seen, and I've been keeping chicks since I was a girl. Which was a while back, now I can tell you. <laughs> right, back to it. Got me turnips still to do. 